All right, so I've been working on this for the past couple weeks. Um, just finished it a couple days ago. Um, and I'm just kind of doing this video to show it off one and then two, kind of give credit to all the other people who had some input on it, just kind of putting it out open source stuff you know, on YouTube and Thingiverse and whatnot. You know, the first thing is you notice is the, the paint job on it. I took it completely apart. Um, spray painted it all black or first sanded it all down roughed it up so that the paint would stick um, if you're gonna do something like this make sure you spend a good amount of time doing that especially on the big you know flat areas here they're gonna um, if you don't let the paint stick real well it's gonna peel off um, so after I roughed it all up did a, a good base coat of black uh, on everything um, and once that was dry I went back uh, tested this kind of yellowish brown tan color. Um, I tried a couple different colors um, or shades of that, and I finally stuck with this one. I think it turned out all right. Um, and then the silver uh, metallic paint on the barrel, um, and then also on the stock back here is all the same silver. Um, and then I highlighted the, I'm not sure if you can see it rapid strike there with the silver as well. Um, I didn't take any time to sand off any of the, you know, you got the caution written down here and you can still see the nerf and elite. I didn't bother sanding that stuff down. I, I, it doesn't bother me. Um, and then once I did that, um, I kind of went over, you know, dry brushed. Yeah, it's a really easy way to make things look pretty cool. Um, kind of highlighted with uh, you know, more of the silver and then the black. Uh, as well, I dirtied it up a little bit, make it look a little used. Um, overall, I think the the look of it looks looks pretty good. Um, initially, I had some sticking with the stock here in the back, um, and uh, over time, it got easier and easier. Um, luckily, I have the stock that is gray. I know some of them come in as orange. Uh, if you decide to do this. Um, and still the stock collapsible um, you're probably going to get some paint wearing down because I can see the gray here that's actually the plastic color so if that's orange that's going to really wear down really fast probably not look all that uh, as good as it was when you initially painted it um, so keep that in mind um, so going over what capabilities or I guess what, what I added to it um, the first thing off the bat comes from uh, Tungsten. Uh, yeah, he's go on his page. He's got a ton of sweet videos of all the different guns he's done. Uh, but so the first thing is this uh, muzzle brake, but it also uh, holds the battery in, which I absolutely love. Um, makes swapping out the battery really easy. It's just a switch. You know, fits on the normal um, Nerf uh, barrel lock, and then the battery slides right out. Um, and what I did was I soldered the connections in here straight to here. So um, the bat once you plug the battery in, as soon as you slide it in, it turns on. Um, so here, just plug it in. This is a uh, what is this 3S uh, 450 mil um, amp hours milliamp hours. So um, yeah, turn is easy. I think these go for like some like three or four bucks a piece, you can get the Hobby King, um, whatnot. Anyway, so then all you have to do is slide it in, and you'll hear, hear the uh, ESC starting up. Um, and then it's, it, there it goes. And now it's ready to go. Um, so that kind of goes down to the next thing. I'm not gonna open it up, but I have uh, two brushless flywheels in here, so they're the, uh, um, the Racer Star. Um, these are 2800 kilovolts. Yeah, 2205, 2800 kilovolts. Um, these I actually got from a. Um, I got these on Amazon. I'll have the links in the description. But these, uh, the reason why I selected these ones specifically is that um, it was an Ultrasonic 2. You, you can find him on YouTube and Thingiverse. Um, he. I already made a flywheel, a brushless flywheel and um, cage for the rapid strike and so 
Instead of designing myself, I used his. And I wanted to make sure the motors fit, so I made sure you get the same motors as he had. I think he had the 3,000 kilovolt ones, but 2800 works just fine. Um, and here's, here's a bad print of those flywheels. Um, you know, you print them upside down, and I had some, uh, um, it was pulling away from the build plate, and so I ended up getting a, um, I ran them for a little while in the gun, but they're really loud because they, they weren't balanced correctly. They, they had a, they printed off weird, and so there's a lot of vibration. So I redid those. Uh, now it's a lot smoother. Um, so those are the flywheels. Um, with those motors, I use the uh, BL Heli. Um, these are 30 amp. Um, I, the link below is the 20 amp ones. I, I think 20 amp would be just fine, a little cheaper. I, if they're not. It, I think they'd be just fine as 20 amp. Um, so the next thing I did, uh, again on the inside, I took out all the stock wiring and redid everything else. Um, at the heart of this is the Arduino Nano. Um, you, you can get a, a three pack of these off brand for like 15 bucks. Uh, this is a, a name brand Arduino, but uh, the one in here is actually one of the off brands that works just fine. I hadn't, I hadn't, hadn't had any problems with it. Um, and then, um, let's see, the next thing, oh, here, decided to print off a, a little scope. Now, uh, better accuracy, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, looks cool. Um, and then, one of my favorite parts is actually um, the screen on the back. So, just kind of going through, um, well, this. That screen is actually printed, again, another thing from Tungsten. This thing is great. Um, so here's the, the original um, piece that was in there. Um, and on his, his piece, just it's a one-for-one -one swap. No, uh, no grinding, no modifications. It's just it fits in there perfectly. Um, and then it houses this um, 128 by 64 OLED. And these, I mean, I think you can get these for like a, a two pack for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, anyway, so going back to the startup. So when you first, so when you first power it on, you get the ESCs calibrating and then you get right here, you get a um, uh, battery selection. So I have a 3S. So to, to change the selections, you use the rev trigger that's programmed right into Arduino. Um, so you select what you would want. This is a 3S select that initializes, and it goes right back to here. So it says mag dropped, um, but if I open the sliding door, um, it goes into the um, settings mode where you can change the power from 100 all the way down to 30 in increments of five, rate of fire, burst, mag size. Um, so that, that's pretty nice. You know, at a 30%, you know, I can you know, have an Air 4 with my, with my son and not worry about it. But then if I want to, I can show off and switch to 100 and start, you know, front, um, start tearing up some darts a little bit. Um, so to get to the actual uh, normal firing screen, you got to close that. Um, I got my 18 round mag here. Put it in, and then it goes. This is a normal fire screen. So, just a little bit. Um, and so you get a, a voltage readout there. I still have to calibrate that. It's not 100% right. Um, there's a uh, well. It's you can calibrate it in the coding, and all the coding I got from um, a guy on YouTube, uh, Airzone, and uh, I saw his. Um, um, I didn't really change much of the coding. I changed some of the pin outputs. Um, not much more than that. Um, just kind of some settings in there that uh, that was more applicable to me. But um, so this is at 100%, and you can hear it. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty nice for 100%. Um, on 100%, and it's not too uh, not too noisy. Um, but yeah, it still it flings the darts pretty good. I'll I'll show you that. Uh, shooting here in a second um, but on the side here uh, on the side here I have this selector switch 
And what this does is all the way back is single shot, middle is burst. And again, you can set that burst to whatever you want. And then forward is full auto. Uh, so essentially with each trigger pull, you'll have a maximum of one shot, maximum of whatever your burst setting is. And then I'll just keep throwing darts until you're gone. Um, and so I, I really like that. You know, you can have the controlled burst or whatnot. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, then moving back, you know, there's not much more back here. One thing I, I wanted to do was to keep this stock um, adjustable. Uh, my son is uh, still pretty small and he likes to play. And so having that makes it a little more comfortable for him to shoot. And it's still pretty cool, a little more compact. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and... And then switching over to burst mode. And then here's... Uh, fully automatic. Alright, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. There's really, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else left. Um, it does have, when you get it calibrated correctly, it'll have a, uh, a low battery detection on there. Uh, that'll pop up just like that mag dropped. Um, it'll say low battery. Um, again, I have to get that um, voltage calibrated. Um, you know, it has a lot of the other things that you see with the uh, the shot counter. Um, you know, in the top there it has. Well, here. Whenever you reset the mag, um, it'll reset to 18. But you can set that to whatever you want in the uh, uh, in the settings. Um, and then each reset of the pusher will. Um, you know, decrease that by one and then I'll keep a total count up in the top right here uh, a total darts fired since you've last reset the, the computer there so um, and keep track of how many you shot total so that's it's kind of cool um, yeah uh, and that's about it it's uh, yeah a lot a lot of fun um, as far as going that pricing wise, you know, however much you can get a, a rapid strike for, I don't know what, probably find one on eBay for 30, 40 bucks. Um, and then I spent about a hundred bucks total in parts. Um, but that gave me enough parts to make two, you know, I, these are typically for, um, you know, like a, a race quad. So they, you know, come in sets of, of four and same with ESCs, you know, you could probably find them somewhere for selling them, uh, individually. Um, but I'll probably end up making another one.